see if this improper integral, so we have the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x to the 2 thirds dx, is this convergent or divergent? So most of you will probably just approach this by using your p-series test that you've memorized, but I want to show you how you can prove it um, here. So to show that an improper integral is convergent or divergent, you just need to evaluate the definite integral with an upper bound that approaches infinity. And if you get a definite uh, answer, then it's convergent. And if you don't, then it's divergent. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, we're going to take the limit as, let's choose t as our letter, the integral from 1 to t of 1 over x to the 2 thirds dx. So all I did there was just say, okay, we have this upper bound, and it's just getting bigger and bigger, and let's see what happens. So to evaluate this, we need to take the antiderivative of that function. So this is, remember, this is x to the negative 2 thirds. So if we're going to use our antiderivative power rule, we just add 1 to that and divide by the new power, <clears throat> which in this case is 1 third, and dividing by 1 third is the same thing as multiplying by 3. So we get here 3 x to the one-third as our result. We need to go from 1 to t, and we're doing the limit as t goes to infinity. So to evaluate this definite integral, we just need to plug in the top bound and the bottom bound and subtract them. Again, though, we're doing the limit as t goes to infinity. So what we would have is if we plug in t, we just get t, so we have 3 t to the 1 third. When we plug in 1, 1 to the 1 third is just 1, so we have minus 3. So you can see what happens here is that we're doing 3 times, this is the cube root of t, minus 3. But as t goes to infinity, the cube root of infinity is still infinity. So we get an infinite term here, minus 3, which is still an infinite term. So, we get that this approaches infinity. So if you get a definite integral, or an improper integral, I should say, that ends up approaching infinity, then you know that it is divergent. So that's our answer here. <coughs> but remember, if you just have basic functions like this that are powers of x, you can always use that p-series test. So just to clarify, the p-series test says if you have the function 1 over x to the p, where p is any number, that's the power there, as long as p is greater than 1, you have a, diver uh, you have a convergent series. So p greater than 1, you get convergent. p is less than or equal to 1, you have divergent. So since we had 2 thirds, less than or equal to 1, we know that's clearly divergent. But oftentimes you're going to ask, be asked to do improper integrals that are not of your basic p-series, and in that case you need to do the method here. Do the antiderivative like normal, take the limit as the whatever bound goes to infinity, and just see that if you get an infinite answer, it's divergent. If you got a finite answer, you'd have convergent.